Good afternoon. What a beautiful day. My name is Valerie Cartwright. I'm a councilwoman in the town of Brookhaven representing Council District 1. I have the awesome opportunity today to come to West Meadow Beach to meet with Ward Melville Heritage Organization to talk about some of the children activities um, that will be sponsored this summer right here at the Dr. Erwin Ernst Marine Conservation Center. Um, Deborah Boudreau is going to be speaking to us a little bit about what summer programs in light of COVID are going to be offered to the children of our community. So I'm Deborah. I'm the Education Director at the Ward Melville Heritage Organization. Um, and as uh, Councilwoman Cartwright said, we're here at the Dr. Irwin Ernst Marine Center, um, as well as um, at West Meadow Creek, um, which is part of uh, Ward Melville Heritage Organization's 88-acre wetland preserve, uh, where we study and learn about um, the salt marsh. So this summer we are um, continuing to do our Summer of Science programming. Um, we've been doing it for um, many years since the time of Dr. Erwin Ernst and we continue to carry on that legacy. Uh, this summer we will be, our format is very interesting. It's a very creative response uh, in order for us to have safe uh, programming but also um, that maintains um, the educational um, integrity and the fun for the kids. So we have two programs. Um, one is called Ecosystem Explorers, and it's for kids ages six to nine. And basically it's a 10 day learning adventure. There are five live virtual sessions um, where kids ages six to nine meet with um, one another and our marine science expert um, to learn about a specific subject. And among, across those 10 days, we, like I said, we have these five virtual sessions, but interspersed between each virtual, virtual session are activities that the kids do independently at home. It could be themselves or even the family can get involved to um, learn more about that subject. So they will um, do read alouds, uh, ex experiments, and of course, most of all, outdoor adventures of their own. And, and the idea is that they bring that information back to share with the group. So we're learning as a science community um, to compare and contrast the salt marsh to all the different Long Island ecosystems um, that the children at home live near. So um, that's uh, one of our programs. And our other program also invites this uh, creative compare and contrast across Long Island ecosystems to our wonderful marsh here. Um, it's called uh, Ecosystem Detectives, and it's for kids ages 10 to 12. Uh, and that um, is also a 10 day adventure. And we're really just, we're really excited um, about uh, what almost like this situation has um, opened up in terms of how we can make this programming uh, just really creative. So to give you information for anyone who's interested and wants to inquire to learn more about the programs, please call the Ward Melville Heritage Organization at 631-751-2244, or you can email me um, at eddirector at wmho.org. Thank you. Good afternoon. So I am now at Ward Melville High School so we can talk about some of the children's activities that they're going to be sponsoring this summer. I have Kevin Finnerty and Christina Driscoll which will share some of the activities that they've done over the years and how some of those activities will be modified as a result of COVID. Kevin Finnerty. Hi everyone, I'm very excited to be here today as the Executive Director of Health, Physical Education, Recreation, Athletics at Free Village. And just a few months ago, we were not gonna be able to run our summer programs due to the current situation, but luckily with all the guidelines loosening up and the state allowing camps, we're very excited that we are able to offer our summer recreation camps this summer to our youth. So, uh, being said, I'm going to now introduce Christina Driscoll, who is our camp director. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I am so delighted that we're able to bring back our program. Um, in Free Village, we've had this program running for over three decades at this point. And even though things are going to be modified for the upcoming summer, um, obviously in line with the New York State guidelines and the Centers for Disease Control to keep our campers and our staff safe, we are still going to be offering a wide array of activities for our students to participate in. For instance, they will be participating in arts and crafts. They will be doing a lot of outdoor exercise activities. We have mindfulness happening at our camp. Um, we have kids yoga taking place for the first time this year. We will have some computer time. 
um, a lot of recreational activities outdoors, doing different types of you know stretches, exercises, fitness activities. And even though we're not able to run our field trips or we're not going to be busing the students to the high school for our swim and tennis programs this year, we do believe the students will still have an amazing time. Another great component that our students would love to look out for is our Discovery Science program, where we will have our instructor still bringing animals in and allowing the children to learn their habitats and make all sorts of different fun science experiments. So hopefully we will have you join us if you're able to and you're looking for something fun and exciting for your children to do this summer to get back to a little bit of normalcy. Um, if you would like more information, please contact Mr. Finnerty's office. The number is 631-730-4980 and registration is still underway. So our camp dates this year will be running from July 6th through August 14th, Monday through Friday. We have both a half day program at Mount Elementary School and a full day program at uh, Minnesota Elementary School. So both are open and we hope to see you there. Thank you. So I have been traveling across the district all day and now I am at Gallery North where we're going to hear about some of the amazing children's activities that they're going to be hosting this summer. Hi, thank you. Hi, I'm Larissa Grass. I'm the Education Director for Gallery North and its studio and we are thrilled to be offering a wide variety of summer options for families looking to have a fun and creative summer. We uh, are offering a virtual summer program. We've just taken our fabulous seven week Art Venture Summer Program and we've transferred to a digital program. So we're doing that virtually. But if that's not the thing for you, we also have our art boxes, which can be uh, purchased and followed all summer at your convenience with a link to a special YouTube channel that guides you through all the projects inside. And we're always flexible, so if you're looking to be part of our independent study program, we will cater a, a program to your family's needs, and when we reopen, we hope that we can have you back in the studio with us for many of our other excellent programs. If you're interested in learning more about the many summer programs we offer here at the studio, you can find out information on our website www.gallerynorth.org. You can contact me directly, education at gallerynorth.org, and our summer program events run from uh, the beginning of July all the way into the fall. So I am at my last stop of today's visit across Council District 1. I'm at Sunshine Prevention Center, and I'm here with Dr. Carol Carter, who's going to tell us a little bit about what children's programs they are offering this summer. I know there had to be some modifications as a result of COVID, but Dr. Carter is going to tell us all about it. Dr. Carter? Thank you so much, and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to let everyone know a little bit about our summer enrichment workshops. It has been a big change from some of the other programs that you know we run. This is actually our 26th summer program. And we were hoping and we could not wait to hear from the Department of Health and get the final approval that camp was able to run. However, it had to look a little different than it usually does. So we made some modifications, but staying true to our mission and being able to build on positive social skills and provide a fun summer experience by really introducing kids back to socialization in the safest possible way. So, they are, if you remember what our summer program's like, we can't do field trips this year, but we can still have some special guests that will come in daily. We're going to build on positive skills and every day is gonna have a different social skill. We're gonna be talking about anxiety, about fear, about anger, about friendship and communication and positive thinking, all done through puppets, through prevention-focused workshops and creative activities. We're also gonna have an art time, a recreation time, and a snack time. And again, we assure you that we are following all the guidelines from the Department of Health, that we will keep as safe as possible. Uh, we have changed and modified the time a little bit. So our days will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from nine to 12. A family can sign a child up by, for one day or three days out of the week. It is a six week program. And again, whatever spaces are open, they can sign up for as many or as little as they want. We do, the program starts July 6th and runs through August 14th. It is for ages five 
through teenagers, but they will be broken down into age-appropriate groups. So when we address the topics, it will be appropriate for that age. And again, there will be, there are open spaces right now. If you are interested, you would give us a call at Sunshine Prevention Center, come and see the center. And hopefully, um, you know, it will be exactly what you're looking for. Um, we do have some financial support. Knapp Sweezy Foundation and Roanoke Sand and Gravel gave us some money recently along with um, Mount Sinai Congregational Church so we can reduce the fees it's usually sixty dollars a day per child we can reduce that sum for families in need and especially families that have been affected by covid maybe if you lost a job or even aligning with sunshine's mission if maybe they're going through a divorce in the home or if there is substance use or abuse in the family and the children could use something positive for the summer so please just ask for me and we will make sure that we can assist you in that way. Um, I think that's it. You can reach us at Sunshine at 631-476-3099 or our website is www.sunshinepreventionctr.org. Thank you so much and hope to see you this summer.